Hey everyone, I'm Bart. I'm Gio. I'm Joe. And I'm Gina. And you're watching Ask the Feels. Today's question is from John Ryan. JR. JK, I was just wondering if you guys think moles are as beautiful as I do. Like, you know, small beauty marks on the face or on the side or something like that. I I don't know. They're just they're just so attractive to me. For example, Geo, Geo got it. Geo got it. Bart, you know it too. I I don't know. It's just it's just amazing to me. I just wanted to see what you guys think. Oh, thank Where? you. I didn't even notice one on the oh. side until right now. Cool. Be like all over, I think. I don't know. Yeah, That's tattoo. funny he mentions that because I recently saw this model with a huge fucking mole. Like, <laughs> it was like, it wasn't like a Marilyn Monroe. It was at the same place where the Marilyn Monroe had times three. Holy it shit. It was fucking massive. It was like. Like a black dime. Like, let's say a Marilyn Monroe is like, like a little dot. Mm -hmm. Hers was like a fucking thumbprint. Like, it was huge. But at the same time, everything around it was so beautiful that it, it made it, she made it work. You know what I mean? Like, there's certain people out there that can make anything work. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. But I didn't think the mole was hot. I thought the girl was hot. Like, personally, I don't know if I would look good with a Marilyn Monroe. Or Mon Monroe. <laughs> Monroe. <laughs> Mon Monroe? Mole! <laughs> they should call a sushi that the Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I'm sure there's one out there. <laughs> but for me, um, I, I I don't. It's not like oh, I think it's so beautiful. But I love seeing it on whoever I'm whoever I'm dating because I love knowing their body. Like, hey, I know you have a mole right there and right there, and I just like I try to learn their body. That's my beauty. Like in my uh, view of beauty, like I love the beauty of your body and knowing where every mark is. Yeah. I think when I was younger, um, I used to hear people talk about beauty marks. And I was like, oh, she's nasty. Like, it was perfect without it. Like, Cindy Crawford is like a so famous wait, wait, one. So wait, wait, what's the, what's the difference between a beauty mark and a mole? I don't even know. Okay. But I think it's they just, Yeah, it's the same, same thing, thing, but they I call it a beauty mark. Uh, it's just a euphemism, I think. Oh, I see. And then, so when I was younger, I would see like, with the, Cindy Crawford had one too, and I'm like, oh, she look way better without it. But I think it was just because my mind was more simple. But as I got older, I found that certain marks gave things character, and I started to like it more. And I felt like if they didn't have it, it would look more plain. Mm. So I, your tastes also change too. I think it gives it a focal point. Yeah. Where it's mm. like, oh, you could view it from that angle. I never really paid attention to it much. But yeah, I think it's pretty when uh, girls have it right around their mustache area. Yeah. <laughs> Or their upper lip. Upper, yeah, but I like to call it the area where the mustache is supposed it. to grow. Yeah, I can already hear him talking to his girlfriend. God, your mustache area is so beautiful. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, Does that work? No, see? It's not bad. I can get, I think we gotta get used to it. It's not bad. I think it depends on you where. Uh -uh. You know what I feel like a, a beauty mark does? It's almost a, has the same effect when like a girl gets like a piercing on the nose. It's cause it's oh, like a, it it's an asymmetrical touch yeah. that adds beauty rather than takes away from it and it adds character. That's what I feel like it does. Right. What about beauty, what about beauty marks or moles away from the body? I mean away from the face and on the body. <laughs> I never really noticed what Yeah, to me that's just body. I was like, you know. Who do you think about those uh, old Chinese kung fu master oh, moles? Hell, with the yeah. fucking long ass furry. We have a friend. It's like long ass. Cause you know I'm gonna have that, right? I'm gonna have like a big ass no, fucking you're not. Oh. No, you're not, right? And it's gonna have like nope. fucking seven whiskers coming you're out. No, you're not, Unless right? you're like Chinese and a thousand years old, if you have that shit, fucking pluck that shit, please. Like you're <laughs> But it's destroying. for good luck. Like no, you wanna ruin dude. all his luck? Fuck yeah, I wanna ruin your luck right now. <laughs> Don't fucking curse me with fucking looking at that shit on your face. I gonna smoke this opium and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about like multiple ones? Cause I've seen people that have a lot. You got moles all over the place right there. That's only like, Two. I've dated oh, a lot of white guys and I noticed that white people tend to have more moles because their skin's like a lot lighter and they go out in the sun to get more Oh, moles it's actually yeah. sunspots. It looks oh, like moles. I yeah. I yeah. never really bothered. Unless it's bumpy, raised, and oh. like that's that's what yeah, that's so a is mole. that a sunspot? It's not bumpy or raised. Yeah, no no, that's that's a mole. Sunspots are like freckles. Oh yeah. So I have a I have a beauty mark right on my nipple. And growing yeah. up, I was honestly so <laughs> I was so self-conscious of it because I'm like, dude, I've seen so many tits 
like you know in movies and on TV and well not TV but in, in movies gym class and like nobody has a fucking mole. I was like, what's wrong with me? So yeah, that's why I asked if you guys care about anything on the body. But, I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a shit either. <laughs> I got a lot of moles on my body. See, this is a mole, this mm -hmm. is a mole, uh, all over my hands and stuff. Mole, 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 mole. Mole, I have a little teeny tiny one that I've had since I was a kid. Mar. Sometimes I get one on my lip too. Yeah. Oh, cool. So it's all personal preference. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. like to go to the mall? <laughs> but I mean, it's cool that you find beauty in something that most people, you know, like don't really pay attention to. That's neat. That's very true. And everyone watching, now you know that there's people out there that love moles. I never even noticed that until he pointed it out, the one on the side, that's cool. Right there. Yeah. It's like a roly-poly. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to stay close to us and follow us on Instagram at AskTheFeels. Go ahead and check out the funny shit we talked about in our last video, right over here. Kind of like you guys, like how you guys are always joking around, like Mexican. Oh, I'm not even joking that though, shit. that's real. Well, if it's real, then Bart, you need to stop because it's really offending me. Already. Yeah, you're hurting you my Latino stop. feelings. I was just joking. You can't take a joke. I can't take a I joke. I can't. No, but see, like, if yeah, if he's serious, if he's serious, this fool's a fucking moron. And he need to drop his ass because if he truly believes those things, he's, he's just, holding you back. He's fucking stupid as fuck. But if he's just messing around and you're not able to take those type of jokes, then I think any good friend, once you tell him, like, hey,